Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Tyson, and today we're gonna to be diving into traffic management for courses inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Specifically, we'll be covering how to set up unauthorized redirects inside of each of your courses here. This is gonna make it super easy to safeguard your content, make sure that people that have paid for premium content are the only ones that can actually access that, but also for the people that don't necessarily have access, they can uh, be redirected to a page where they can purchase the required pr uh, product to access that specific course, right? So super useful. Let's go ahead and dive into the platform here and I'll show you how to set everything up step-by-step. Okay, I'm starting off on my dashboard here inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on sites in the left-hand navigation. Once that loads, we're gonna go ahead and head to courses right over here, right above, or sorry, below URL redirects. Once that loads, go ahead and click on the course that you're trying to set this up for directly. Just click on the name there. Uh, and just click on settings over here on the top right hand side of the screen. From here, just scroll down until we see unauthorized redirects. It's gonna be within these settings. Just scroll down it's near the bottom, actually pretty much at the very bottom here. Um, unauthorized redirects, here we go. Now all you have to do from here is just paste in the actual uh, URL for either the funnel or the funnel step that you want someone to um, be sent to if they happen to click on a course that they don't have access to, and it's, it, or for this specific course, if they do not have access to it. Uh, now. Once you paste it in there, that's all you have to do. Just hit save, update the course, and after that, you're good to go. Just to show you how this actually works, let me just pull over a course here uh, that I set up just, uh, just for the video here. Make sure that we had a nice little test. So in this case, I do not have access to this course right here. If I were to click on it directly, it's gonna take me to the actual page where I can purchase the product necessary, right? Here we go. Now I can go and I can actually purchase the product. And once I do, then I will be able to actually access the content for that course. Simple as that. Okay, that's it. That's all there really is to it when it comes to setting this up. Uh, as soon as you have that link in place and it's saved, it's uh, essentially there to prevent anybody from viewing the content without purchasing a product, right? So with that said, if you have any questions or you'd like some clarity on anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you have any uh, video requests, leave it in a comment down below as well. I'd be happy to uh, add it to the list of future videos to come here. But uh, aside from that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.